Hello and welcome to Webtime Mentors YouTube channel and you're watching the fourth video of the programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about installing and setting up the Java SDK which is the Java JDK, Java Development Kit. So the first step in doing that is downloading the Java SDK. It's available to download from the Oracle website and you can download it, multiple versions of the JDK from the Oracle website. The current version, the latest version is Java Development Kit 1.8. So in order to download it, I have made a short link available for you to type it easily. It's bit.ly slash jdk18. And if you'd like to download the Java Development Kit 1.7, then the link for downloading that is bit.ly slash jdk17. So I've also made it available as an annotation for you to click it directly and go to that website. And it's also available in the description section of this video if you'd like to go with, uh, to that website later on. So I'm going to click the jdk18 version. So it's going to open a link. Seems like I had already a link opened in the same way. So I have the website opened. Well, it's a very short process. All you have to do is that accept the license agreement and then look for the best suited version of the JDK for your system. So if you're having a Windows 64-bit operating system, then download the last Windows X64 version. And if you're having a Windows 32-bit version, then go for Windows X86. And if you're having a Mac OS, then you have to download this, that is the Mac OS X X64. So download it. I have already the version Windows 64-bit version that is already downloaded in my system. So I'm going to open it directly so you can see that. So all you have to do is just double click it. It's going to open. It's going to take some time in order to analyze your system. So now it came to the wizard where I can press the next button. So in this wizard, all you have to do is that click the next button every now and then. So it's not going to ask you for advanced tweaking stops or some settings that has to be made. You don't have to do anything. All the configuration has been already done. So all you have to do is that press the next button every time I ask for. So I'm going to press the next. And I'm going to press the next again. It's, it's going to install it on the program files. Java JDK 1.8.0 underscore 25. It's going to install it on the drive where your Windows is installed. So it's going to be C for me. It might be different for you. So it differs with the Mac users. So just look out for it. It's going to be totally different installation process for the Mac users. So, so it's going to take some time for me to install it because my system is a little bit slow. So after some time, you will be getting this window where it will be asking you for the position where it has to install the JRE. So just stick to the same folder. If you have changed the folder for the JDK, then change it for the JRE as well, if you wish. That's completely of your choice. So I'm not going to change it. It's going to be next from my side. It's going to take some time again. So I'm going to pass the video. So after some time, the JRE also installed. You will be getting this window where the successfully installed sign will be there. So all you have to do is to close it. So once the installation process is completed after the download process, would go into the setting up process. This is necessary only if there is a problem in identifying the JDK path. So you have to check the path or the variables from the environment is updated or not. So the process of updating is also different. So in order to check if the path is available or not, go to the run CMD and you can check the version of the Java by using Java space dash version. So this is going to give you the version of the Java installed on your system and with the JRE as well. So if this is not coming for you, if this is not showing, there is no Java installed, then this means that the environmental variable is not updated. So the next process is going to be manually updating it. So in order to update it, go to your system properties and going to advanced system settings and there you find the environmental variables and you have this java underscore home where you can see that the c colon gram files slash java slash jdk 1.8.0 underscore 25 the folder or the path where the jdk is available in order to create that if it's not there you have to press a new button type java underscore home then you can just go to that folder where it is available. Just press it here. One, two, five, of course. Press it here. Copy it. 
and go to the variables again and paste it. So press OK, you'll be getting it. I say I'm already having that path. I'm going to go with the OK. I'm just going to press the cancel. You have to press the OK button. Now this is done. You have to press the OK and it's OK. Let's check for it. CMD and Java. So now this has been clearly seen. It has to be there for you. So as we have already checked the environment variable or the path and also updated it if it's not updated in the environmental variable section and checked again if the path is recognized or not. So that completes the video. Uh, thank you for watching this video and the next video that is going to follow up with this is what is a Java class. So what is a class in Java and I'm going to give you a theoretical overview of the class in Java and after that we'll be seeing a practical implementation of what can be a class in Java. So thank you for watching this video and if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks please feel free to share it and if you find this video useful please press a like button and also subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed to the channel already and also please share this video to your friends so that they can also benefit from this. Thank you for watching.